just a quick video showing you WP all import and the kind of things that are possible with it and a little bit of how to use it. Um, so in this example I've got an XML source file. Um, you know, one of the cool things you see here, for example, I have made, I don't know if I've got, um, these are for 360 degree images which appear in this nested in this XML block over here on the right images but they are with type 4 okay so there aren't any in this example but this for each loop is saying for all the images um, that are type 4 run this function and that function is um, defined down at the bottom okay which is basically um, from the import I'm just printing out a flash object with the actual tag passed through CCM this function add 360 passing through a variable v tag and you see v tag getting put in here in the correct place okay so that, that's quite cool i think and i also um same kind of for each for these attachments if we have attachments um and it's pretty simple you're basically saying for attachments slash attachments so that's attachments slash attachment um, then you use this little symbol, curly bracket dot curly bracket, which means get the value. And you can use curly bracket at something to get the attribute values. So that's getting the description to put in as the text for the link. Um, what else? Obviously with the with the WooCommerce add-on you get to load everything into your products. And then yeah, categories as well are pretty good. So down here I have, um, yeah in this case it's, they have um, the first one is the top level category, second is the second level, so um, you could, I've just made them hierarchical up to five, there's only three in this example, but WPL import will just ignore the ones if they're empty. Um, that's similar for images as well, um, but yeah it's pretty good and very easy to do all this kind of stuff and um, one of the nice parts about it is if you want to add custom fields for example um, you can just stick in a new uh, let's call it status okay, this is a status over here so I'll just drag this over we're talking status code now if I want to get the actual status attribute this normal status for example I just drag the attribute key and drag that over and it gives me the correct XPath all formatted so that'll be pulling out the word normal into status okay and um, that's how cool it is very good